I'm Lita Ford, and you're watching That Metal Gear. Welcome to That Metal Gear, the only place on the internet where we talk to all your hard rock and heavy metal heroes about their favorite guitars and how they get the sounds that we all know and love. Today we are joined by the lovely and legendary Miss Lita Ford. Thank how you doing, Lita? Hi, nice to see you. Thank you for having me. Lita, why don't you tell us about your first guitar you ever had and where you got it? The first guitar I ever had was a Gibson, a chocolate Gibson SG. I got a job working at St. Mary's Medical Center in Long Beach, California. I was 14 years old and I lied about my age and got away with it. My mother helped and uh, I was able to save up $350 and I bought a chocolate Gibson SG because I wanted to sound like Black Sabbath. <laughs> That's pretty good first guitar to have yeah. to learn on. Yeah. Um, who was the last guitar player you saw that blew you away? And it could be a new player or a, a, someone that's been around for years. The last guitar player that I saw was on that metal show, and it was Gary Hoey. Gary Hoey, play us into break, if you will, please. He's an amazing guitar player, and uh, sometimes I think he's underrated, and people don't. People that don't know him don't realize how amazing he is. I think Gary Howey would be my first choice. What's your favorite song to play live and why? I just, I just love playing live. I, I like to jam. I don't, don't really have any particular favorites. But um, I like the part where me and my other guitar player, Mitch Perry, the two of us do a dueling guitar. That was one of my favorite things that Alice Cooper used to do in the Welcome to My Nightmare tour was where the guitar players used to come down off the top ramp and do a dueling guitar solo. So I think that that's probably my favorite part of the show, although I don't have a favorite song, right. just a, a favorite part. What gear are you playing these days? Um, well, I've got a lot of different uh, things that I've gone through, a lot of different types of gear that I've gone through. Because I started in 1975 in the Runaways, I've tried pretty much every amp that's out there. I've tried different wah-wah pedals. I like particularly uh, this wah-wah, which is the Jerry Cantrell. I like it because it has a deep swoop. It doesn't have a lot of effects. It doesn't have a, um, a distortion, where some pedals, they add different effects and add different distortions. This pedal just gives you that really deep wah. I like the Digital Delay 3, which is just a basic delay. When I first started playing in the Runaways, I didn't have pedals. I had to plug into the amp and learn how to actually play the guitar without stepping on pedals. So for me, I think a lot of the playing and a lot of the sound comes from the actual guitar player and not from the equipment so much. Um, I like the JCM 800s. They're my favorite heads. Uh, the early 80s, I think, were the best models, kind of like a car. You know, you have your sure. favorite car model. My guitars, the Black Widow Warlock. The Warlock is a signature model guitar that I've used since the early 80s. I call him Maurice. Right. Maurice was the Warlock on that um, Bewitched. It was Samantha's father. He was a warlock, and his name was Maurice. This one actually has a preamp in it, and uh, it adds distortion, and it adds boost. So if you don't want, uh, if you want a clean sound, I turn it off. If you want some gain and sustain, I turn it on, and it makes those notes sing loud and clear. And, you can hold on to him for a week. <laughs> when I was a kid, I met Richie Blackmore, and he gave me these guitar picks that not a lot of people use. This one is shaped like, we call it the home plate. Right. And uh, for me, it, I can't play with a normal pick. These help me with uh, the double picking, harmonics, um, little squeaks. Yeah. That kind of stuff, I, I find it difficult to do with a normal pick. When he gave me the, the first pick I ever owned, I kept it 
for an entire tour. We toured for three months with the Ramones, and I kept one pick that he gave me. I used it for the entire tour. By the time the tour was over, <laughs> that pick was round. Yeah, I bet. It was amazing. <laughs> but it was just like uh, something that stayed with me for the rest of my life. So now I'm stuck with these picks. Thank you, Lita, for taking time and talking to us today, and thank you, Internet viewers, for watching that Metal Gear.